Guess what? Android 12 Beta 3 is here and ready for you to download and enjoy if you have an eligible device. We really hope you're ready for more features and changes because we're going hands on with this latest update. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. After what feels like an age, Google is finally adding the ability to take scrolling screenshots with Android 12 Beta 3. To say this feature is long overdue is an understatement and we've seen multiple OEMs simply adopt their own implementations to make up for the lack of options within the core build of Android. It's a fairly standard tool that allows you to expand the regular screenshot option out on your display view. When initiating a screenshot, the floating menu introduced back in Android 11 now includes a capture more toggle that will allow you to expand what else is captured. It's quite an easy way of grabbing the entire fully expanded page view and then letting you crop in to what you want. And it's actually quite useful in practice. There is a caveat though, at least in Android 12 Beta 3. The scrolling screenshot feature doesn't appear to work with websites just yet, which is a real bummer. We're sure that it will be tweaked and tuned ahead of the full Android 12 release in the coming months. Otherwise, it's not exactly the most useful outside of some of your on-device apps, such as Twitter and more. To help improve auto rotation accuracy, you can actually toggle face detection so that when putting your device into portrait or landscape, it will react much faster. It's hard to say if this new option makes a huge difference, but while it might be the placebo effect in action, it does feel a little snappier than it did previously. The wallpaper and style section has been on the receiving end of a major overhaul with Android 12 Beta 3, and it's easy to see right away that Material U is now closer to completion with this release. And the latest build of Android 12 now includes support for choosing the palette of colors the OS will pick from and has very limited support for automatically themed icons. Themed icons work in much the same way an icon pack would on a third party launcher, yet icons are swapped out with supported applications with a line based design and background to match your wallpaper or chosen accent color. We get to see a single supported third party app but almost all of Google's popular applications and main applications will adjust when this is toggled. With the removal of the awesome Active Edge on recent Pixel devices, the corner swipe activation gesture was seen as a long-term replacement. In Android 12 Beta 3, you're now able to completely deactivate the Assistant corner swipe though. For people that might not want access to the Assistant, this might be the perfect solution as all other methods can also be disabled at any other time. For some reason, the corner swipe was persistent and could sometimes interfere with the gesture navigation method. Likely because of that, within the gesture navigation settings page, you can toggle the activation method, though this does not affect the three button nav bar if you prefer that method. To enable or disable the assistant corner swipe, just head to settings, gestures, system navigation, and then you'll be able to adjust the swipe to invoke the assistant toggle. In a similar way to the addition of scrolling screenshots, the one-handed mode was a long overdue addition in the previous Android 12 beta update. Beta 3 though just adds another option to expand the notification shade when swiping down on the gesture bar provided you're using gesture navigations. This might be useful for Pixel 4 owners who do not have a fingerprint scanner or even the upcoming Pixel 6 which is expected to come with an in-display fingerprint scanner allowing you to simply swipe down on that bar and get access to all of the notification panel. One of the more frustrating elements of Android 12 Beta 2 was the removal of the ability to toggle Wi-Fi on or off quickly with the introduction of that internet notification button. Android 12 Beta 3 is sort of fixing that problem with a turn off Wi-Fi button as part of this internet pop-up section. No, this is not a proper solution to the problem, but it does save having to dive directly into the full settings menu just to turn on or off your Wi-Fi's connection. When tapping the internet toggle on Android 12 Beta 3, you get the same pop-up menu with all of your current device and data connections and in the bottom left you can tap to turn off or turn on your Wi-Fi connections. Google has also moved some of the less prominent notification shade toggles around a bit in Android 12 Beta 3. We're talking about the gear, the pen icon and the power icons that allow you to enter settings, edit the notification shade layout and access the pop-up power menu respectively. These toggles have just simply been moved but more importantly, the power option has been moved back to a central position, which is easier to remember for right-handed users. No more accidental presses of that power menu through muscle memory, it seems. 
When in the Recents app menu, you can also very quickly share websites from Chrome with any floating quick toggle, which will put the most recent web page link you viewed and make it easier to directly share with your apps or contacts right at the top of your screen. When this is clicked, the button presents the URL that's currently open in Chrome, along with options to share or copy that link. As we said, when you click it, the bottom of the screen is populated with your recent contacts, so you can easily share that link without jumping into another app in Android 12. There's also a more button to option the full share menu on top of that. If you didn't already know, Google Camera 8.3 has been bundled with the Android 12 Beta 3 update, and you guessed it, has some interesting changes. Most notably is the addition of Material U theming for vast portions of the UI, including the floating settings menu and associated toggles, plus the main control area. The settings page also does away with the dividing lines between sections, letting the colored text of each subheading act as a separator. Similarly, the text on this page and the quick settings, but not the main menu or camera interface, has been switched from the previous Roboto font to now the newly launched Google Sans font. The Pixel Launcher also hasn't been left out in Android 12 Beta 3, with quite a few little refinements and alterations including to the search bar, it's now thicker and more prominent, while the Assistant logo has been replaced with a microphone icon. For long pressing on an app shortcut menu, there's now a prominent link to the widgets for that specific app too. Although also not a big change by any stretch of the imagination, the popular at a glance widget from the Pixel Launcher has been renamed Live Space, however if you expand the settings for this home screen widget, it still hasn't been fully renamed. There is also the most minor of tweaks to the font that sees it get ever so slightly bolder and a little broader. Pop-up menus also have more obvious tweaks with Material U themed colors that will match your chosen settings or wallpaper. You may never have even launched the Pixel Tips app before, but it hasn't escaped the Google developer and design team in Beta 3 here. The app has seen some fairly fancy renovations with a new tiled layout that has icons for specific on-device sections likely to help make things easier to find or understand for newbies. That said, you might not use this app all that often. So that's every major function and feature that we found thus far, but we want to know what is your favorite new feature or multiple features. Let us know down in the comments section below. And if this video manages to reach 3000 likes, then we'll also share another of our new and exclusive Android 12 Beta 3 wallpapers so be sure to share this video with as many people as possible. And if you want our previous designs, then check the link in the description. But as always, until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching, and I will speak to you later.